In 2023, Chongqing is emerging as a top choice for global conferences. From business leaders, scholars, and diplomats worldwide, Chongqing resonates with openness and opportunities. Let's hear from those important experts and discover Chongqing's journey to global recognition. As we knew, all the big player corporation in Singapore, most of them already in Chongqing. Some of them even make a very big investment. We think the attraction should be moved to small, medium enterprise from Singapore to Chongqing. At the same time, I think this is an opportunity to allow more Chongqing company to venture into Singapore as well as well as make use of the Belt and Road to have their business uh, venture beyond China itself. When we were born in the Hai Dao, we thought that not only Chinese people should be alive, so altogether, it brings what I would like to try to explain is one single market. So it's one big market with a, a unified taxation, legal and court service. So to reduce the entrance fee, cost and also time. So from the policy level to the execution level, it, it becomes a one big market. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think no matter for all, all, all we just mentioned, uh, the implication part for, for green building or green finance is a big potential in this region. The Chongqing plus Sichuan, the, the car production uh, is more than 3 million, uh, 3 million cars in the last year, uh, which is accounting for uh, accounting for more than 10% of the country's total. I think it's a very good foundation and it's, yep. it's a very good start level uh, for the uh, great, uh, for the, 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 the industry uh, transformation. Yeah, yeah so um, Chongqing obviously is a very large uh, municipality. It's probably the largest municipality in all of China. Uh, got a very huge base of uh, natural resources, uh, people, as well as a con uh, consolidation of different technologies. So at the starting point of the new uh, sea land trading corridor, it's really the best place to be in terms of um, opening up new trade routes to the uh, west and southwest part of China, connecting with ASEAN, uh, Central Asia, and all the way to Europe. And for example, last year in 2022, uh, MERS deeply involved in the low rail transportation corridor. And then we have our customer move cargoes from the western region of China and through the railway to the Southeast Asia. We can keep develop the opportunity in this market. And then we take the Chongqing and also the surrounding areas and the hub of this initiative to help customer to move their cargo quickly. Um, you see, uh, I think there is a, a marked resemblance between uh, Chongqing and, and Belgium and especially also the city of Antwerp because uh, where Belgium, of course, is a gateway to the European Union with Brussels, its capital also being the capital of the European Union, being situated in, in, in Europe really uh, as a logistics and, and distribution hub. Well, Chongqing, of course, is also a gateway to, to Western China. I mean, for Malaysia last year, it was the first time that we went beyond the $200 billion level. So trade between Malaysia and China last year was about 203.6 billion, uh, which is a very big increase. I think as uh, connectivity improves because of the uh, Nancy Corridor, which Chongqing is uh, an important part of, uh, links between um, China and ASEAN and China and Malaysia as a whole will also become stronger. And uh, I will do all my efforts in order to strengthen more and more every day our relations. We are strong allies. We are strong partners. Ni hao Zhongguo, ni hao Chongqing. I think my favorite attraction is in uh, Chongqing Dazu, the Dazu carvings, because there you can really experience the ancient culture of China. I think that that Chongqing should be on the list of must seen place here in China for any tourists, not only from Poland, but for any tourists visiting China. 
I think uh, we have a really, really close relation together uh, since I came here. And uh, we are also planning to have uh, maybe the project together, like co collaboration project together to develop the new products. And one midnight, all of a sudden, I start to write, and that was the first movement. I start, I start to see Chongqing here in the evening, all the lights, and I thought, is I'm walking, bom, 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 bom. Chongqing, the Fog City, is a bilingual exploration of Chongqing's unique role in the context of Build and Road Initiative. This book is designed to bridge the cultural and linguistic gaps between Arabic-speaking and Chinese-speaking audiences. Also, to foster a deeper understanding of Chongqing's significance in this global endeavor.